jackpot, he is elected to take a lump sum, which will be $223 million. Please meet Charles W. Jackson, Jr. Charles has agreed to take a few questions from you and tell you a little bit about his lucky story. So I'm going to let him take the podium. I got to remember all this because I ain't used to it. <laughs> For a couple of years, I was just playing the same six numbers twice a week. I mean, the same five numbers on a Mega Ball and Power Ball. I never expected to win, and I just got lucky. But I played at the same place most of the time, so I'm glad they're happy too, because they're nice people. <laughs> and uh, I hope to give, you know, there's a few charities I want to give some of the money to, you know, like St. Jude's and, and Shriners Hospital and uh, the Wounded Warrior. And uh, I don't know, that's really about all. I don't know what else to say, I'm just kind of, I didn't even know it there this morning. I didn't look at the tickets, and I don't have the TV to news to tell me. So I got up and looked at the ticket, and really I didn't see the last digit and thought that I just won fifty thousand. So my wife had already went to work, and I called her back and said, "Look, we got to go to Raleigh." She said, "For what?" I said, "Well, I think I won at least fifty thousand." And after I hung up the phone with her, I got back in there and looked, and I said, "Dang, I got them all." So. Then I called her back and said, look, I won the whole thing. And she said, <laughs> she said, well, how much is the whole thing? I said, I don't know. I just played. I don't know what it is. <laughs> and she, she said, well, Google it. So I went in there and pressed up the answer lot on Google. I said, you ain't going to believe this. I got it all. <laughs> I don't know what to do with most of it. I hope it don't change me a lot. And I'm, I'm trying not to change my life, but... Like I said, I, I'm still going to wear my jeans, maybe newer ones, but. <laughs> Do you think you'll still be working? I'm retired. He's already retired. I won't work it to start with. <laughs> <laughs> I was just playing the lottery. So. Where are you retired from? I had a military store for a while, business of my own, out on Riley Road, going in the base, right there before you get in the base, uh, in Fort Bragg, so. But most I retired off the Social Security, which is just a little bit, not much. So, tell us what was going through your mind when you looked at the ticket and made the realization. It just like I said, you always, you know, you play and you to win, but then you don't ever expect to win. You know, it, it, my, and like I said, that's why I was happy to people at IGA because I always told them I, I, I reckon I won two or four dollars. You know, I was always playing about that, and that's. Every once in a while, I hit a red ball. But I didn't really have any thought. I mean, I don't know. It's just kind of numb, you know? <laughs> I still, it still hadn't come over me yet how much, you know, the, all that money. Plan <laughs> <laughs> on tra any traveling or anything? Well, I've already been about 20 times to Vietnam, which my wife's been to me, so, and, and she, her younger sister still lives over there, so I enjoy that. Besides that, I don't know. Probably go over there. Pretty soon, but you know, I, but I don't have any other plans. I hadn't decided yet. I just really, I'm just kind of stumped, you know. <laughs> what made you come forward so quickly? I just saw the ticket this morning, <laughs> and uh, I told my wife. She said, "Well, let's wait till in the morning. We we'll go up there early." I said, "Look, the people at the store already know it. Let's go get the money." So, you know. Did Did you pick the numbers yourself? My stepson's daughter, she's eight years old. She get we went me and me and her and grandma went to a restaurant, a Vietnamese restaurant, and uh, ate. And she had some uh, fortune cookies. We always give her the fortune cookies. And I said, save the fortunes for me. And I look at the numbers on the back of them. I want to play them. And that's where they came from. Oh, cool. <laughs> Was that the only ticket you bought, or did you buy multiple? No, I, I always play the same five numbers for Mega Million and Powerball, and I've been playing them for probably a couple of years. And so was this the first time you went with the cookies? 
No, that, the, the same numbers I got off of the fortune cookie that day with her. They're the same numbers I, I played. And I've been playing them ever since. Oh and matter of fact, if I'd look on the back of the fortune cookie, they wouldn't be saved but like five numbers. I'd just pick another number and put on there because I had random red balls just in case. That's why I hit two or four dollars every once in a while. So, just got lucky with it. Do you have any big plans, anything that you've always wanted to buy? No. <laughs> and really, I don't. I mean, that's the simple answer. It's just not, I, I just, it hadn't washed all completely over me yet. But I don't know what I would want. I mean, I, you know, I'm pretty happy the way things are, so I don't know. <laughs> Do you consider yourself a lucky person? My brother always said that, but not usually. Me and my brother had a deal to give each other a million dollars if, if, if we won the lottery, the big, you know. And I called him a while ago when I got here. <laughs> and I said, I said, are you ready to be a millionaire? He said, what? I said, I won that lottery. You didn't see it? He said, yeah, but I didn't know it was you. He said, are you, don't, don't mess with me now, man. Don't mess with me. And some lady walked by, some lady walked by and said, congratulations. He said, I heard that. I said, you did win it. <laughs> he said, but I'm your only brother. Can't you give me two million? <laughs> He's already trying to negotiate. No, yeah. Man. Well, there ain't nothing wrong with trying. Why did you tell him on the team? Huh? No, I ain't answering you. <laughs> you mentioned the different charities. Why are things like St. Jude's? Etc. Just things I've seen. I mean, I don't really have a charity and things I've seen, and then I kind of said a little prayer and said, you know, and, and said, Lord, if I ever win this thing, this is what I'm going to do. And those three that I named give a million dollars. I mean, I always said that, so I'm going to stick to what I said. Because that's somebody you, you probably shouldn't lie to. <laughs> no, no, no. That's not, that's not healthy. Are you planning on getting like a financial planner or someone to help you yeah. navigate all yeah. this? Yeah. Well, my wife's business, she's got a CPA and all that, so, yeah, we, somebody we, you know, and he's my second cousin on top of that. So he's a pretty good guy. <laughs> All right, Charles is wanting to get back home. So we're going to uh, give one more question. Just one more picture of that. All picture. right, I'll let here, you take it. Oh, okay. 66. What's going through your mind holding that check? Hurry, hurry up and get the money before something happens. I'm putting over. Is that good? That's good. Congratulations.